What's going on everyone? Anthony here and today I want to talk about something that has impacted the world and it's not the coronavirus, COVID-19. I'm talking about movie theaters and movie chains and what will happen to the movie theater going experience. So as we know the global pandemic coronavirus has halted a lot of things especially people going to movies. Now during the March 13th to the 15th weekend at the box office Close to 60 to 70 percent drop was seen in the top 10 movies at the box office. This is the lowest it's been since the mid 90s, and it's been said that the 2020 box office would not meet eight billion dollars, and ticket sales will be lower than one billion dollars since the first time since 1976. Now, if you ask me, that's a huge huge loss to the movie theater change and to death especially Hollywood now movies like A Quiet Place Part 2 which was coming out March 20th Mulan was set to come out March 27th No Time to Die was supposed to come out April 10th Fast and Furious 9 was supposed to come out at the end of May and Black Widow has also been pushed back now movies like this are hurting the box office because so much money has been spent on commercials and advertising and marketing that uh, nobody's going to go to the movies because of such a shutdown. Now the big movie theater change did decide to close for a certain unspecified amount of time to fight the global pandemic coronavirus. Uh, no word is given yet on when the movie theaters will open, but Regal has closed its 500 plus locations in the United States, and AMC has closed their 600 plus locations in the United States. Also, Alamo Draft House and Cinemark have also closed their theaters. So it's going to be very interesting to see what the box office numbers will look like now. But not only that, NBC Universal has stated that movies that have been in release like The Invisible Man, Emma, and The Hunt will go on video on demand so people can enjoy and watch them. Now here is where things take a turn for the good or the bad. Now that does hinder things for the movie theater going experience because once these movies are released on video on demand nobody would want to go to the movie theater and enjoy that movie theater going experience. I for one love going to the movie theater but there are certain times where I just want to sit at home and watch a movie and not actually be bothered by so many people seeing it on opening weekend. Yes ticket sales are expensive. Some ticket sales range between $13 for a normal admission to up to $25 for IMAX and even $30 for 4DX. To me that's just insane. You don't need 4DX you don't need 3D. Just go to a movie, watch it regularly, because after this global pandemic, I'm pretty sure that ticket prices in movies will be going up drastically, which then people will turn to video on demand services or streaming services like Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Prime, and Apple TV Plus. Now, this is where things could work out. I would say that if movies like No Time to Die or Black Widow want to be released, release it on Netflix and have the people sit at home and watch it in the comfort of their own home. Because once you do, if you go out for a weekend movie and you go to a movie and a dinner, you're paying close to $50, $60 for a movie and dinner. You're paying close to $24 for two tickets. And then you add concessions, it's pretty, pretty expensive. You're close to paying $200 in one weekend just for a dinner and a movie. Now, if you have dinner and a movie at home, have your dinner at home, pop in some microwave popcorn, and there you go. You have your drinks, you have your iced tea, you have your soda. You're in the comfort of your own home, reclining and enjoying Black Widow, No Time to Die, Quiet Place Part 2, and even Mulan. Now, will Disney release Mulan on Disney Plus? They might, but I don't see them doing that because it's a huge money loss for them. But if they were smart, they would do so. Uh, I see movie theaters sadly dying in the next five to ten years uh, because of such inflation with the ticket prices, and nobody is going to want to go out or you know enjoy that movie theater going experience anymore. Uh, it's going to a time where people want to stay home, be comfortable, and just watch a, a movie on Netflix or you know any other new release. I mean, great example: Look at The Irishman. 
The Irishman was a movie that nobody thought would do good, especially with its three-hour runtime. Nobody's going to sit through a three-hour and 29-minute movie at the theaters. You're not going to do that because by that time you get bored, which is why Netflix did it, and they got amazing, amazing response. Plus, Netflix gave Martin Scorsese his own free will to do anything, and now if Netflix or any other streaming service can give directors and movie studios a chance to do things like that, then we're going to see a big increase in streaming services and especially, especially monthly subscriptions to those services. Now, I for one don't want the movie theater going experience to end, but sadly it seems like it will, and you know, I'm curious to see what happens from here on out. If the movie theater going experience doesn't drop and people do still go to see a movie for, you know, because like I said, tickets aren't going to be $12, 13 14 dollars. They'll be close to $17 to $18 dollars for one person, one adult. You add in children, you add in seniors, the ticket prices rise. So it's going to be very interesting to see what happens now after this global pandemic of coronavirus halts and everything gets back to normal. Because once everything gets back to normal, who knows how long everything is going to, you know, progress in a way where everything was, you know, it's social norm again. You know, everybody's going out on a Friday night because it's going to take a lot of time for movie theaters to bounce back. And there are certain people out there, certain financial advisors are saying that movie theaters will come back. Uh, for me as a moviegoer, uh, I would love to see that happen, but I hate to say that it, it might not happen. But uh, I could be wrong, uh, I want to be wrong, so I don't know, but we'll just see what happens within that time. And, you know, streaming services are a big popular thing now, and if movies can get put on streaming services the same weekend as it's released in theaters, that's even better, because then you're in the comfort of your own home, like I've said, and you're enjoying the movie with ones you love and ones you want to enjoy it with. So let me know what you think in the comment section below. Do you see the end of the movie theater going experience? Do you see streaming services bouncing up huge in popularity because of the global pandemic coronavirus? And do you think ticket prices at the movies will go up? Now also, with ticket prices going up, mind you that a lot of movies now will break a ton of box office records. It's going to be insane and who knows how long this is going to last. And for those watching, take the proper precautions, wash your hands, stay safe, and be diligent and pay attention to what's going on around you and support local businesses and support movies that you love and that you want to go see. Let me know in the comment section below of what you think will happen to movie theaters in the next 10 to 20 years. Alright everyone, I do want to wish you health, love and happiness. Be careful out there and much love to all of you. Thank you so much for tuning in and be safe.